topic that has been given to me is the relationship between Israel and the church. <coughs> and uh, I really hope and I pray that uh, you will enjoy this session as much as I enjoyed preparing for it. I, I really thank God for this conference because it is conferences like these that bring the truth out to the people. And it is the truth that sets you free. The covenant that God established with Israel is an everlasting covenant. It cannot be broken by any man. It cannot be broken by Israel herself because this is a covenant that was made to them by God himself. God has eternally bound him with the nation of Israel. Amen. He says, you are my people forever. Yes. And he confirms it as an oath to Abraham, he reconfirms it with Isaac, and he confirms it again with Jacob. The land that I'm giving you, I'm giving it as an eternal possession. It's a beautiful word. No one can break it because God Almighty has declared it to be eternal and everlasting. Nothing that the world does, nothing that Israel does can make God break this covenant. Yes. And as church, we know that God has given us also the same calling, to be a light in this world, to show God through our love, through our actions, through the blessings in our life, to show God to the rest of the world. Because of two wrong teachings that was spread in the church in the last 19 centuries, and some of it is still prevalent today. One is called the replacement theology. This theology is from the pit of hell. It teaches, almost for the last 19 centuries and even today to some extent, that the church has replaced Israel in God's eternal purposes. Which is wrong. Because, which is wrong. Because what we read now, it is, it is an eternal covenant. God has never cast away Israel. God can never do that. There are some very powerful scriptures. We will come to that in the, in, in the next, in the last maybe 10-15 minutes. But let us understand that the church has never replaced Israel. Yes. 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 God wants the church to be a continuation of Israel, but never the replacement of Israel. Yes. So that teaching has to be uprooted from the hearts of Christians all around the world. Right. And, right. world. Right. and the second teaching is that the church, the ancient church, not the true church, but the ancient traditional church has, has brutally called Jews the Jesus killers, which is not true. There is a powerful teaching that is very prevalent today, which is, uh, the, the teaching is on who killed Yeshua. This teaching brings so powerfully uh, uh, to the front that it is not the Jews who killed Yeshua. It is the sins of the world. It is your sins and it is my sins that killed him. It is not this precious people called the Jews who killed Yeshua. He laid down his life for us. It pleased God the Father to put the sins of the world on him. And it was never the Jews alone that killed Yeshua. And these two teachings, if it is uprooted from the hearts of Christians, let me tell you, Christians can become such powerful channels of blessing and love and healing for the nation of Israel and to the Jewish people. Amen.